Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be a Diablo 3 video about a popular overlay program that is called Turbo HUD. I haven't done a video for like seven or eight days because of the holidays and being out of town, and then I got a new computer, so I apologize for that. You know, week at dead time, but time to get back into it and start the grind again. This video is going to be broken into five different parts. Number one, I'm going to define Turbo HUD. What exactly is it? Number two, I'm going to go over, can you get in trouble for using it? Number three, I'm going to show me playing a Rift while using Turbo HUD so you can see what it looks like while you're using the program and playing. Then number four, I'm going to go over the different numbers and statistics that it gives you and shows you about your character and your account. Then uh, fifth, I'm going to give my final thoughts on Turbo HUD and kind of encompass everything that I think about it. So... Let's get into it. Okay, so first off, what is TurboHUD? TurboHUD is a third-party program and overlay for your screen that displays all sorts of different things on your Diablo screen while you're playing. It gives you statistics about your damage levels and your experience per hour, your legendaries per hour, and all sorts of different stuff like that. It shows you affixes for elite packs and all sorts of different things while you're playing the game just like clutters your screen with information that you might want access to while you're playing instead of having to go an extra step to get that information. Next I want to go over can you get in trouble for using TurboHUD? Is it against the rules of Blizzard? Are you at risk of getting banned? Etc. Etc. Um, I would recommend that you don't use it if you value your account because it is a third-party program, and if Blizzard decides that they want to ban people for using it, then you might be at risk. I'm I'm not a computer scientist. I don't know how easy it is for Blizzard to detect if people are using this or not, or if Blizzard is just kind of turning a blind eye to it, because I've never heard personally of somebody getting banned for using TurboHUD. But it is possible. You know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you should use it because there's no risk. Um, so if you do use it, just know that you're doing it on your own accord, and I'm not recommending that. I would never recommend that you use a third-party program because it is against Blizzard's rules. So I think it's unlikely that you get in trouble for using it, but it's still something that I wouldn't recommend and that I would never personally do on my main account. I'm on a, an alternate account that I don't really play on right now. Just in case something did happen, I'm not jeopardizing my main account. So that's kind of my personal view on it and if you are at risk of getting in trouble or not. Alrighty, let's jump into a rift and see what this program is all about. I might not do the whole rift, you know, I'm trying to keep the video at a decent length. Uh, first off the bat, we can see it doesn't show me a lot of the minimap. You know, it's not like a full screen map hack or anything. So, nothing too crazy yet. It does show the, maybe a couple more mobs on the screen than you, you would be able to see. And then right there you can see all the affixes for the elite pack on the bottom of the screen. It shows me, you know, what's going to be coming my way. But yeah, it doesn't show very much of the map. I thought that it used to show a little bit more than this. It's got your focus and restraint right there in the middle of the screen. So you can see, you see this right in the middle of the screen? It's got your focus and restraint stacks. Oh, and there, okay, it highlights the exit. See, like, normally, I wouldn't be able to see this exit down here. But I can see that exit because of the overlay. So I know that I gotta go this direction. So once you get close to the exit, it does show you where to go. And it shows you a little bit, yeah, so it's like the entrances and the exits is where it shows you the most on the mini-map. And then once you're actually in the rift, and away from the exits of the entrances, it doesn't really show you much of the map. 
So it's it's definitely not a map hack. Yeah, because I, I can still run into dead ends using this. It definitely doesn't just show you exactly where to go. But you can see the, the icons for the elites and stuff. Alright, cool. That'll do it for the demonstration part of this. Now let's get into what it actually shows you on the screen in town and kind of what you have available to you. Down here in the bottom right, it's going to be showing us our experience per hour, our legendaries per hour, how many elites we're killing per hour, our total kills per hour, and what our playtime was that run, I guess. Not for sure exactly how that works. I guess that's time that you're not in town that you've been playing. Um, and then down here, you got a bunch of different numbers, experience per hour today, resource cost reduction and cooldown reduction are all right there. Then you got your area damage, your critical hit damage, your crit chance, attack speed, sheet DPS, and a bunch of different DPS numbers right there that you can access without even going into your inventory. Your toughness stats, and then your effective hit points right there. So that's kind of something nice to know. Down here in the bottom, you've got your, your, your different elemental percentages, like your elite percentages and your fire damage percent. I've got 17% on my bracers, so that's where it's showing that 17% fire damage. And yeah, it looks like it shows my ping as a representative number right here. My blood shard count. And then what's kind of cool is it shows my damage right here for my skill, um, the damage that I do against a regular monster and a damage versus an elite, and it kind of alternates between the two. So I'm doing 21.7. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly what that number means, but the higher the better. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. You can equip something and see if it's an upgrade. If that, if that number goes up for your main skill, it's a, it's an upgrade. And yeah, it showed me the focus and restraint procs. Uh, right in the middle of the screen. It doesn't in town, but it was showing the focus and restraint right here in the middle of my screen. And then up here, this is kind of cool. It shows you at your current rate how many hours you'd have to play to get a certain amount of a Paragon level. So like for this character to get to Paragon 765, it says I would need to play about six and a half hours. And it shows you how much more experience you would need and kind of breaks all that down for you. So that's kind of cool. Then... In your inventory, it shows you what level of gem you have equipped. And it's got a little A here if something is ancient. On this character, only my weapon is ancient. And I believe it shows, yeah, it shows the name of a legendary that's on the ground. And it even shows if it's ancient or not, uh, or if it's primal. It'll do that before you even identify it. Um, it shows what's in your cube. That's really handy up here in the top of your inventory. It shows you what's in your cube. So that's really cool. And then it shows all of your mats down here on the bottom of your screen. That's really neat. You can just see all that without having to click here and look through everything. It's just right there when you open up your inventory. Okay, I mean, I'm no expert I on Turbo HUD. I haven't used it that much. So there's probably some things that I'm missing or didn't explain very well. But that's kind of the general gist of what Turbo HUD is. Now I'm going to kind of give my final thoughts and encompass everything about Turbo HUD in my opinion. Um, first off, I want to say that if you're competing on the leaderboards, you probably shouldn't use it. You do have access to more information than a player who's not using it. So if you really want to be legit and earn your spot on the leaderboard you at least shouldn't use this while you're, you know, pushing greater rifts. Yeah, that would be my first kind of take on it. I don't think it's that bad to use it for farming. Um, I don't personally, just because I don't want to risk getting my main account banned if something were to ever come up. But I don't really see a lot of harm in using it for farming. All it does is show you a bunch of cool numbers. And it doesn't really show you that much of the map. Just the entrances and the exits. Um... But it is technically cheating if you're talking about pushing the leaderboards. Um, even though a lot of people do use it, it's still technically cheating. But secondly, I would like to say that Blizzard should just take note of this and they should steal these ideas. You know, in a game that's about farming 
and playing for, you know, multiple hours at a time and building up an account, building up a character, people want these numbers. People want to see their experience per hour, their legendaries per hour. People want to see their actual DPS, you know, how much damage they've done in the last one second while attacking the mobs. You know, people want access to if an item is an upgrade or not and how it actually affects their skill damage and all these numbers and how they interact with each other. People want that. So, you know, Blizzard could alleviate how many people use this program by simply adding these numbers into the game. I, I don't know why they won't. Um, and then they could do it the way they want to do it instead of having this alternate third party program doing it in a different way. But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on Turbo HUD and explaining everything about it. So now you know if you didn't know. And if you have any questions, drop it down in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. I hope you had a good holiday season. And thanks for watching. Peace.